now we have created all the dashboard so we can publish this report now for that we just need to click on publish wait for a second now if we have not signed in then it will give you the dialog box for sign in i already signed in that's the reason it's giving me this box where i need to select a destinations where i want to publish this report now wait now it is now we got a successful message our report is published successfully now if you click on this link it will open a web page with the link if you are not logged in then you need to sign in once you logged in it will open this web page in this format in power bi you are able to see your report just here under my workspace you can see all the tabs which we have created gross profit by product by region by average daily gross profit fiscal report and the average 12 month transaction revenue the best thing is that we can edit the report here in web this web page here all the tables are available in the visualization screens are available that so we can make any kind of changes if we want now our report is dynamic we can see on selection of any product the all our data are changing on select click of button use control plus click that this function will work now if you go on a file tab there are multiple options are available you can save the report you can save this copy of the report you can take a print out for example if you want to present this report so if you need a print out you can take a print out you also can publish to the web page for that to be a author of the website you also can export to the powerpoint so it will create uh, each report uh, each dashboard in a new page you can also export in a pdf and this function if you send a report to someone else uh, through emails so if someone is uh, logged in on a web on a web page that time he can able to download this report now again come back to the reading view if you go to the right side right corner there is option available shares if this option will allow to share this report with others through email for that you need to have a power bi account power bi pro account you can also try it for free for 60 days now i have used function i have take a 60 day trial that's the reason is enable me now if you can share view in share report you have multiple option you can insert a email id you can provide a content the link is available we just need to update email id any message email body you want to add you can allow a permission to share the report you can add a function that send email notification to recipient and you just need to click on share it will send an email to to the person you can add multiple email now let's go back to the our power bi desktop now we will see to add a new data and refresh this report for that you just need to go to the our database file select the report copy it move to the our main location and just click on refresh now you can see our all the report are updated with the up new data which you can see the year are reflecting for a 21st 22nd and 23 now we will publish the report once again so our updated data will reflect in web page click on refresh wait for a few second then we got the success message now let's click on the link now if you can see in web page our data are updated for the 
updated period for 21, 22nd and 23 or all the report are updated. First where we have extracted our all the transaction table from a folder and we have extracted a single table for category and product. Then after extracting all the table we have created one date table using calculative measures and we have created a relationship with all the tables and after we have created a multiple dashboard for gross profit by region by product average days gross profit fiscal report and average 12 month transaction revenue and then we publish the report on web page and we have seen how to update our data and refresh this report that's it we have covered in this case study thank you